In the previous video, we just finished the general shape for our inserts. You can see as we unhide part one, how they fit nicely together. Uh, you might want to change, depending on how your 3D printer is, or if you're printing this, maybe this to be a little bit smaller so it doesn't fit snugly. That snugly, we did change it slightly. Uh, but again, whatever your margins are on your printer. So the next thing I'm going to do is click on my shell tool. I'm going to click on the top face here, and I'm going to shell this at 0.1. Again, you can make it thicker if you uh, feel the need to. Uh, now, some of these self-watering plants uh, also have the bottom with a hole in it. Some don't. So you may want to put a sketch here and remove that face. Uh, so we can talk about that as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a sketch down on this front plane here. And I'm going to do this quickly because the idea is pretty simple. You're going to create holes uh, spaced out. And you can dimension these holes uh, wherever you'd like. 0.2 seems like a good size, too small. And all you're going to do is get uh, clogged with dirt. Too large and... Uh, you know, you're going to have too much water flowing. So you're going to make holes along here. And this, again, is something you can experiment with, uh, with the size. I, in my other one that I made, I used the mirror tool, and I mirrored the holes I made on the left side to the right side, uh, just for a little bit more ease in that. But... We're going to get the general idea here. And so again, I'm going to take that last one off. I'm having a little issues with lagging right now. So again, your hole placement should be a little bit more like this. Like I said in my, my demo one that I made, I made everything symmetrical using the mirror tool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an extrusion. I'm going to do a remove. I'm going to choose uh, symmetric here. And I'm going to choose a value large enough to get me outside of my base. And we can see there that I have holes on each side. You could do a sketch on the right plane as well to put your holes here. Uh, if you, again, would like to remove the bottom or a portion of the bottom, you can just lay a sketch on the bottom, uh, place a circle. And again, if you want to remove the entire bottom part of the bottom for water flow, and you're just going to do that as an extrusion and uh, do that as a removal. And we can see that inset is complete then. So then when I unhide my part one, we can see that they fit nicely together uh, for that self-watering plant. And again, depending on your 3D printer, you may want to adjust your fit margins. If we look at my previous one that I did, I chose to keep the bottom on and I used again that mirror tool which I can show you right here. I actually spaced out my holes with a plan. On one side, I used a construction line to mirror that same exact pattern onto the opposite side. But again, ultimate goal on this would be to have your two halves fit uh, snugly uh, within the margins for your 3D printer. 